Hey, Viola Rolls here, and welcome back to Bravely Second Inlayer. So I'm back at the Sanctum at Gathladio because there is a side quest marker here. Uh, so you have come, my daughter. Bravely, Grand Marshal of the oh. Italian Forces and holder of the Templar Asterisk. The ruling hand of the Duchy. So there are um, new ones. Closer to homes. Idia's stern but loving father. After a long and bloody war, peace between the Duchy and the Crystal Orthodoxy is finally within reach. What wisdom do you suppose he wishes to impart to you now? No, you come to me as Idia Lee, Knight's Captain of the Eternian Ducal Guard. Father, what are you doing here? Answer me this. Are you prepared to succeed me? Are you ready to rule a nation? Wait, what? Father? In olden times, it was said that a true ruler must possess one of two qualities. The strength to cut down any foe who would stand before him without doubt or hesitation. Okay. Or the resolve to defend the multitudes who would cling to him for protection without letting any come to harm. But you have to have one or the other? And yet, in many ways, these two powers, these two innate abilities, are opposites of one another. So you're asking me if I had to choose one? Just so. Now, I ask you once more. Are you truly prepared to take my place, to rule a nation? Do I have the will to rule? Yes, I do, Father. Well said. Now, I would know what you believe. Which of these two qualities would you value most were you to rule? Do I have to answer this would you question the power or to cut down your foes? If so, go to Everlast Tower and retrieve the Grand Marshal's sword. Okay. Or would you value the power to protect your subjects? Then visit the Central Command Dungeon and retrieve the Grand Marshal's shield. The Grand Marshal's sword from Everlast Tower. Or the Grand Marshal's shield from the Dungeons of Central Command. When you appear before me as a true ruler, and only then, I shall share with you all that is mine to share. Can I go get both? Yes, Father. Uh, I mean, understood, Grand Marshal, sir. Idia Lee, Knight's Captain of the Ducal Guard, will not let you down. Well spoken, my daughter. Now go, and be strong. I shall await you in the Cave of Vessels. Seek me out when you have found your answer. Okay, I'm glad I decided to check the uh, markers then, because apparently they are important, and they aren't the previous uh, side quests. Well, I think some of them might be, but a lot of them are not. And I'm glad that I noticed that marker the last time I was here at Gathladio, too, because I was about to just go straight into the celestial realm and not give anything else a second thought so okay so let's go outside so that i can take a look at the world map real quick uh, let's go for for the shield i think that's a good choice oh apparently we have a party chat the ultimate owie I've got it. Stubbing your pinky toe on the corner of a dresser. Youch, that one hurts. It's a shoe in for sure. What are you three doing? Holding the third official Ultimate Alley competition. Everyone chips in with the most painful sounding events they've heard or experienced until the Ultimate Alley is crowned. The Ultimate Alley? They've already done this twice. How about you, Tiz? Got any cringeworthy tales? I suppose I do. Oh, do tell, do tell. Hmm, let me think. How about this one time when I was brushing my teeth in the morning? Oh, I know, I know. You banged your head on the mirror when bending over to rinse and spit. <laughs> Come on, that doesn't hurt all that much. No, one morning I went to brush my teeth, but I was so tired that instead of my toothbrush, I grabbed my razor instead. Ouch. Okay, yeah, I think that one wins. <laughs>
Okay, here we are at the Attorney and Central Command Dungeon. So we need to find the weapon that he wants us to get. Just somewhere in here. Okay, recommended level, max level for this area is 60. Okay, so I wonder how easy some of these side quests are now because I haven't done them. Oh, hello. The fox is here. I don't really need the fox right now. Well, going to a different area makes me miss out on seeing whatever cutscene this gives. Uh, okay, I'm fine. Here you go! Ugh. Heavy. <laughs> da -da -da. Shield grilled cave scallop, ducal guard style. Grilled sh shield grilled? Okay, interesting. Oh, nice. Mm, these are the scallops you collected earlier, right? Mmm, fresh scallops are the best. And I love the miso butter sauce. The bed of green onions and bean sprouts really works too. The juice from the scallops soaks into the greens, turning them into a refreshing seafood salad. Like an undersea garden. By the way, did you say shield grilled? <laughs> yeah, instead of a hot plate, I use the shield here to grill them. Wow, that's awfully extravagant. I read that the soldiers in the field would use their shields to grill meat and their helmets to boil potatoes. Okay, I, I guess we don't have anything else. I'll have to remember that the next time I'm in the woods without a frying pan. You make a lot of grilled food, Idia. Is that popular among the Ducal Guard? Sure is. Hardy battlefield fare, fit for heroes. That's always been their motto. <laughs> a feast fit for heroes is right. The Knights of the Ducal Guard have always been like that. Big, strong warriors with even bigger hearts. It sounds like a proud tradition. Just like the Sky Knights when I first joined them, I guess. It must have been a real honor. Is that where you learned to cook Ducal Guard cuisine? The Attorney and Fourth Guard unit, the Sky Knights, was once part of the Ducal Guard. Oh. Its commander was none other than Sir Argent Heinkel. This was a shield passed down from captain to captain. Oh, so that's the shield you used to... Wait... You used a priceless heirloom to grill scallops? <laughs> Darn right. Just have to rinse it off and it'll be good as new. It's what Heinkel would have done. Yeah, you're probably right. A meal fit for heroes? More like a meal fit for madmen? What if you were ambushed while you were cooking? Well, that's why they outlawed deep frying, you know. <laughs> yeah, it'd be like a fire shield, except you'd be the one getting burned. As commander of the Ducal Guard, Heinkel was sworn to serve father night and day. Father is the one who taught him how to cook on the battlefield. So the Templar taught him, and you've inherited their legacy. I suppose that's the Ducal Guard way. Exactly. Wait, so all those dishes with way too much sugar and your culinary experiments, they were inherited from the Ducal Guard too? <laughs> what? Huh? What is it? Look at this mithril shield. I've been holding onto it for my collection. It's the Pope Anya's Ascension Limited Commemorative Edition. I'm guessing Idia used that. Oh, so that's why it was polished all spiffy. It made the cooking a breeze, I'll tell ya. <laughs> oh, shield, Idia. It's all covered in soot and miso butter. Hey, guess what, everyone? I've got another special treat for you. Check it out. Scallop soup in a helmet. Ducal Guard style. Oh, no. You didn't. I sure did. I used the shiniest, best-kept helmet I could find. Oh, look at it sparkle. But, 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 that's my Legion helmet. That was my prize for qualifying at the Harina Regionals of the World Fighting Spirit Championships. Wow. You know, you, it's good that you take care of your things. But the most wasteful thing of all is not to use them. <laughs> hmm, I guess they have a point. <laughs> yeah, Idia isn't really much for seeing the importance of items, is she? Because remember she ate that baton earlier? <laughs> 
Anyway, let me see if I can find this treasure we're supposed to be looking for. Oh, since the level has changed, that probably means that the uh, enemies in here have probably changed too. So let me turn that on. Uh, let's go straight down first. An ether. Okay, nice. And what's down over here? Um, looks like a dead end. Ooh, whoa, okay, wow. Okay, yeah, there are new enemies, Spriggans. Okay, wow, I was not expecting that. I was sort of expecting, like, trolls and stuff like that. Probably weak to lightning, if I had to take a guess, over clocking. So, it gave itself an aim and speed buff. Oh no, it has Rocket Punch. Well, that's gonna be annoying. Anyway, let's go ahead and use uh, Thundar on all foes. Let's have you use Lightning Cast as a Needle on all of them. Let's have you also cast Lightning twice. And let's have you um, just attack. It looks like I'll need one more round to take them out. Ah, oh, that was almost enough to take that one out. Yeah, we just do regular attacks from here on out. Oh no. Well, at least it doesn't heal you for that much, I suppose. Oh. Okay, deciding to do physical attacks was a bad idea. Let's just use regular thunder spell on all foes. Let's just have you use lightning, cast as is. Let's have you use lightning and have you... I'm gonna switch you to uh, the wizard class or your secondary because having the time mage class is not very useful right now. Okay, that's one down. And that's the rest of them. Nice. Okay. So, let me change uh, Tiz's secondary ability. Um to spirit magic. There we go. That'll be a lot more helpful. I hope there wasn't anything that I missed on the first floor in terms of enemies around here. 5,000 peak, nice. Okay. So I see a treasure up here on the map. So let's see what this is. Hermes sandals. Hmm, I think that's new. No, it is not, actually. Okay, cool. Ooh, we have another new enemy, Basculus Lancer. So let's go ahead and have you examine, and then have you cast Thundara on them. Usually these enemies are weak to... well... Actually, let's see what they're weak to. I assume Frost, but I could be wrong. Weak to water. That's what I thought. Okay, let's go ahead and cast Blazara on all foes. Let's have you um, use Frost, cast as a needle, and then cast. Um, wow, I want to use all three stacks. 
Cast as a needle and then cast as a regular spell. Let's have you cast frost. And let's have you also cast frost. Quintuple thrust. Whoa. So they strike five times at random. I hate those abilities. They always seem to do the most damage. Oh, by the way, I should probably heal after that. Um, I'll use the white mage class to heal. That should be good enough. Okay, so, let's see. Okay, so there is a chest up there, so let me go grab the- Oh, by the way, I just now noticed. Um, I forgot because of the fight with, um, Anna, I took off Divining Rod from everyone. I need to put that back on. There we go. There we go. Now I can see how many chests are in each area. So there's one more chest around here somewhere. Oh. We have a new enemy, Basculus Knight. I figured there would be a knight class and there's probably a monk class somewhere then. So let's go ahead and examine you. Everybody else default. Yep, weak to water, just like the others. Oh, and they have Stomp. Okay. So use Blazara on all of them. Have you cast Frost as a Needle, and have you just used Frost twice, and have you used Frost twice as well? Oh. Well, apparently we're going to chain into another battle. With more of the Lancers. Oh, hey, I found the monks. Yep, weak to water, just like their brethren. Okay, jeez. Um, let's have you ready to use Cure on Idia when she's up. And let's have you use Frost a couple of times. Okay, cool. I was so afraid that he was going to hit Idia. Oh, Fissy Cups gives you the Berserk status. Hmm, well that's not good. Frost casts as a Needle. Let's have you cast... Um... 
cast Karaga on everyone and have you use Frost. Okay, good. That's that as is. Um, let's have you cast Cure on Tiz and have you cast Frost. Okay, nice. Okay, so I made it to the next area. There are five chests on this floor. Wow. Um, I think we'll continue with this dungeon in the next one. I need one more uh, Basculus Lancer and one more Monk to complete the bestiary entry in this area unless there's newer enemies on this floor. But if you guys enjoyed this one, give this video a like. Also be sure to like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter as well as support my Patreon and check out my reaction channel. All those links will be in the description below. And subscribe for more. If you are subscribed or a new subscriber right now, be sure to hit that bell icon so you're notified when I upload videos. This is Viola Rules, signing off. Talk to you later.